So yeah, we're gonna start here again. I just discovered this as on my way to the continue story. Alfred, we can add a third oh, victim to the list. This is becoming rather ghastly, sir. It brings to mind a spate of murders at the beginning of your career. It was Halloween then, if I'm not mistaken. Turned out to be rather a long one, if I recall. I'm going to try and identify the body. In case you guys are unaware, uh, Alfred did actually just reference Arkham Origins. Although, uh, a lot of people who are fans for Chime as well, I also believe this it, Origins isn't canon. To the Arkham series. Google it. You choose An it, irregularity you. on the victim's chest. It appears to be a birthmark, quite distinctive. Yeah, just YouTube a video about it. People will explain. Explain why. Oh, what is this? There's a bullet lodged deep in the upper bicep. This type of ammunition is predominantly used with a hunting rifle that hasn't been manufactured in over a decade. The left foot is missing several toes. The site of amputation suggests the removal of non-viable tissue in the treatment of frostbite. Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Robert Kincaid. He was a microbiologist who worked for Stag Enterprises. Many believe the shooting was connected to Kincaid's knowledge of controversial research, although that remains unverified. He took a teaching post in Atlanta, which is where he was reported missing. That's three victims, all of them abducted in various places around the country. Keep looking for a connection, Alfred. Right you are, sir. The writing by the bodies suggests the killer has a higher purpose. It's as if these weren't good enough for what he has in mind. Do you think there are other victims? Yes, and I don't know what he has planned for them. Good point to start here. Just to...
Angler has Catwoman. Tell me why. I don't know anything. I swear. I just tied her up and left her inside. Why? What's Nigma's play? I ain't got a clue. I just brought her here and planted some of those trophies nearby. That's it. You gotta believe me. I do. Oh, fucking body spent. Uh, let's go see. Batman? That had better be you. And you had better be sorry. Smoke! Keep still. Are you okay? Perfect. What little girl doesn't dream of being bait for her strapping dark night? We're leaving. You might be, but I'm not. Ah, both contestants are finally here. Tonight, folks, we've got riddles galore. But first, let me introduce my beautiful assistants. Ah, I'm growing tired of my dependence upon the least useless dregs I can scrape from Gotham's utterly uninspired underbelly. Why rely on others for help when you can design, program, engineer, and manufacture it yourself? I prefer fighting with Batman. Catwoman's too slow in, in combat for me. The countering system's a little bit rare, and I, I don't like it. You enjoyed that, Detective. It's the most fun you'll have all night. You see, Dark Knight, this feisty felonious feline has been fitted with a shiny new collar. With each challenge you complete, you'll get one little key. Collect every key and the kitty goes free. Remove it too soon and the kitty goes boom! <laughs> Well, don't just stand there, Dark Knight. Take that rocket fuel roadster of yours and make your way to the cauldron train yard. My first test is waiting. Actually, I'll be back soon. You'll be back right away. Guys like Eddie let me be until I started playing nice with the bat. It's unlike you to get caught. Was it an ambush? Blackmail? A trap? He invited me. What? He said he had a job. A job? Of the cat burgling variety. I'm pretty good at it, remember? Not all of us scamper around on rooftops at night because we want to help people, you big brooding boy scout. Now where's my key? Do you do a lot of work for Riddler? Only when you're not looking. Selena. Someone wants something stolen? I'm the one who steals it. You know how this works. Or did you think you'd reformed me? Look, I'm sure standing there like a towering pillar of muscle works on the more impressionable girls. But I'd be much more impressed with some keys. Yeah. Don't keep me waiting. I'll try. Sir, I've regained control of the bridges. Good work. Yeah, cool. I'll contact you when I'm in position at Mercy Bridge. Well, Batman, old boy, this is quite the dilemma, isn't it? Do you save the incompetent friend who got herself kidnapped, or the incompetent friend who got herself kidnapped? Per 
Personally, I go see Eddie's latest contrived death gauntlet. I'm sure he went to a lot of trouble. <laughs> Besides, mm. you can't save all of Barbara. I killed half of her already. Should we open the... A GCPD helicopter reported a hostage situation in Port Adams, sir. One of the Station 17 firefighters. The captors are entrenched with firearms. Rather a lot of them. Not today. to free the firemen. Ground takedown. to do that. Oh, that could have went better. I ain't gonna lie. You know, shit. What the hell happened? I don't remember anything. Your truck was attacked. You and the rest of your crew were taken hostage by rioters. It's over, Batman. Not even you can save Gotham this time. I won't give up. I'll find your crew. Wait here. An officer will come and take you to GCPD. Alright. I'm gonna upgrade. And I'm gonna cut to uh, the next bit. So I actually just, dis also I actually just discovered this bit as well, so I'll just repeat what I just said there. Okay. Ooh, I have, I have an idea.
一曲。Challenge in the cauldron train yard. Fine, Nigma. I'll play your games and I'll win. Selena's life depends on it. Look at all the construction work. No economic. Stop it. Reoccupying Gotham, not today, not on my watch. The next thing I would like to upgrade is the Batmobile. Should let's get on that. Oh shit, I'm back tonight, ain't got shit on me. That would be nice. But I will take armor level two. We keep it. Yeah, sir. A challenge in the cauldron train yard. Fine, Nigma. I'll play your games and I'll win. Selena's life depends on it. I found a fourth victim. Highly regrettable, Master Bruce. All we can do is hope this body yields some clues as to the killer's identity. Can you see me? I mean, I ain't complaining. No. Not done. This wound is relatively fresh. Inflicted while the victim was still alive. Abrasion to the epidermal layers confirms the somewhat crude removal of a tattoo. The position of this scar indicates the victim underwent surgery to remove one of their kidneys.
A plate made of tantalum, used here for a cranial fracture, most probably the result Ella of a boxing Montgomery. accident. The victim's callous knuckles would only be acquired by a professional fighter. Alfred, the victim's name is Ella Montgomery. Mm. It appears the kidney was donated to a twin sister who unfortunately died. This seems to have been the catalyst for her boxing pursuits, and hence the cranial injury. She went missing in Huntsville, Alabama. Have you found anything linking the victims? I can find no personal or professional links between the victims, but they each went missing near state parks or playing fields. Try and find anything connecting those places. Of course, sir. I'll look into it. This is actually where I'm going to end episode 5. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Exposed. I can use the power winch to trigger a controlled explosion. Excellent work. Move. Bomb defused. Protect these lobs, Sergeant. Whatever it takes. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No button. Again. A challenge in the cauldron train yard. Fine, Nigma. I'll play your games and I'll win. Selena's life depends on it. Ah, detective, you arrived. I thought Catwoman's little predicament might encourage your participation. I realized, you see, that the kind of image-obsessed narcissist who places bat symbols on his hubcaps would never willingly submit himself to the kind of humiliation I have in store. Yet, here you are, detective. <laughs> the humiliation is waiting below. Well then, 
detective. It begins. You are staring, <clears throat> with stupefied incomprehension, at a mechanism I have calibrated to respond to an extremely precise radar pulse. Radar. In a moment, I will give you the decrypted code, Dark Knight. Oh, but first, I think we should run through the ground rules for tonight's festivities. Rule the first. You will address me at all times as Riddler, the Riddler, or Mr. Nigma, sir. Otherwise, detective, I expect your patented brand of churlish silence. Rule the second. All gauntlets... What? What? How did you... How did you solve tonight's very first riddle? <laughs> well done. Well done. Welcome to my racetrack, detective. You must complete three circuits of this gauntlet, finishing each before the time limit expires. Afterburner's failsafe. I need the extra speed. I'm shocked, Dark Knight. Is that really as fast as it goes? No. Maybe. Let's work that undeveloped brain of yours. Okay, Batman. Let's see if you're as smart as they say. One down. Hell yeah. Well, well done to it. the pair of you. That's the first key collected. Um, don't expect to be sinking your claws into too many more. More, more, too many more. <laughs> Did you really believe? 
believe that a challenge designed by me, the Riddler, would be quite so easy? Oh, Dark Knight, you sweet, naive Sentinel, of course it wouldn't! But now I have several hundred terabytes of performance data relating to the latest model of rocket-powered hearse you're driving. With that in mind, I have prepared for you something a little less knuckle-whitening and rather more brow-furrowing in Chinatown. Hurry on over, detective, or it won't be curiosity that kills the cat. Kill, kill the cat. Mm. Lovely. I'm heading to Mercy Bridge to pick up Alfred. I'm at the bridge. One moment, sir. I should probably warn you, there's a significant militia presence ahead. Duly noted. I managed to access the files Miss Gordon was working on before her abduction. It would seem she found a weakness in the drone, sir. A direct hit from the Vulcan gun on their sensor array should destroy them with a single shot. I see someone on the map tomorrow, I'm going to go okay, so I'm going to eliminate as many as I can.
Oh shit, she got one of his own. Arkham Knight. 